heavyweight boxing fans what's the deal so i was thinking of this when i was watching the very end of uh anthony joshua with his impressive um seventh round knockout over dominic brazil i was just thinking to myself you know because whenever i bring up dillian white i've had a lot of fans a lot of fans they believe in hey you know it's their opinion but i disagree with it but they think that uh dillian white is a i've heard some people call him a top 10 heavyweight one guy told me he was a top five heavyweight and they attribute a lot of that to him being able to go seventh round seven rounds with uh anthony joshua so i'm curious because dominic brazil just went seven rounds so is that i mean does it make what brazil did is he now is he just as good as white now i understand white caught aj with a uh he caught him in the second round he hurt him he buzzed him okay you know cool and then he got knocked out dominic brazil he somehow he busted aj's nose um and it wasn't going to be easy you know he bit down on his mouthpiece early and wasn't going to be easy now i would say white performed better but he still went to seven rounds so what i'm saying is does it even really make what dillian white was able to do special i mean now dominic brazil went seven rounds with him um although he did not catch aj and he got up two times. He just didn't go down once. He got up twice. You know what I mean? And uh, Well, he got up one. He did get up the one time. And then the second time he got knocked down, the ref just waved the fight. Um, and he was hurt. I'm not saying he could have got up. But he was pretty pissed off when the ref was trying to help him up. He was kind of pushing the ref's hand away. So he, you know, he knew what was going on. He wasn't just out cold out of there. But I don't know, man. Just a quick question. Does this... Now, do you really value Dillian White's performance against AJ any higher than Dominic Brazil? Um, I don't know, man. Just being able to go seven rounds or eight rounds with somebody, I'm not sure that rates you in the top five. You know what I mean? I really don't. Or top ten. But a lot of fans think Dillian White is a top ten. Also, seeing Carlos Takam out sitting in the crowd. So I wonder if he's trying to scout a fight because Dillian White had performed earlier uh, on the card. So... Maybe he was just there enjoying himself, but I seen Carlos Takam there. Uh, Anthony Joshua was talking about um, he wants a fight with Fury. He well, he wanted the Fury fight and Vlad, the winner of that fight. Now he's talking about Deontay Wilder. Then Deontay Wilder was on the Showtime telecast, and he said, "Hey, let's make the fight in December." You know, so and for you joseph parker fans out there i know you guys are like hey what what about us you know it's gonna be more the merrier if aj fights wilder and uh the winner of that fight still fights parker regardless i think that'd be beautiful so but i do think parker and deontay wilder is going to present more of a challenge than brazil at least offensively i can't say that they're going to hold up and uh be just as tough or you know, bite down on their mouthpiece the way Brazil was able to after getting hit clean with shots. Um, I'm assuming they would be, but uh, offensively, I think they're going to pose a whole different ball game for Anthony Joshua. But just getting this video out there, I'm out.